The salt that we need to react has to react to moisture first to convert to a brine. Would you rather have the brine go down immediately or would you rather wait 30 to 45 minutes before it to convert to a brine? Hi, I'm Phil Sexton with WIT Advisors. So, so the goal of this training really is, is to, to take a look at the snow and ice management industry as sort of its business as usual form and try to convert the mindset of you know, how we normally use salt as a solid material and how do we, how do we change the mindset to using liquids as, as a better alternative and, and why would that be a, a no-brainer decision to, to do that. So, so let's first start to answer the question, why, why is using less salt so important? And so the way that I, I like to frame that is through the principles of sustainability. Be really thinking about sustainability as two sides of, of the same coin, both environmental and, and economic benefits. Um, when you first think about it though, less salt, depending on who's buying it or who's using it, it means just less material. Less material means less cost. Less material means less impact on infrastructure, on a property, on the environment. And when we think about it in terms of economics, you can think about it in several different ways. You know, using less means I can use less as far as the material costs. I can use less as far as the frequency of times I have to apply it. I can use less as far as uh, needing to achieve a level of service. And so if, if, if something, and that's something we're going to talk about today is liquids, if that something is, is something that enables you to be more efficient, then why wouldn't, you, why wouldn't we do that? 